Now I'm going to show you a picture. Please describe what you can see. You have uh, 30 seconds. Uh, in this picture, we can see uh, in the uh, we can see in the immediate foreground a fire engine, and uh, beyond this fire engine, we can see uh, um, uh, the stair tracks used in the airport uh, to uh, let the passenger uh, get on a plane, and in the um, and beyond the uh, stairs, we can see an Airbus A320. Uh, that has a blue stripe and a green stripe and uh, okay thank you now look at the second picture i'd like to ask you some questions about picture b okay what is the passenger doing uh, the passenger are uh, being evacuated uh, from the airplane what type of situation is this uh, this is an, uh, an emergency. I think that is an emergency because uh, um, uh, in the uh, in the ground on the ground we can see many firefighters that are waiting for the passengers to rescue them. What do you think will happen next? Uh, I think that uh, the passenger will uh, um, uh, will be rescued by these uh, firefighters and maybe. In uh, cases of uh, worst disease, they will uh, uh, be brought to an hospital. Both of the pictures show emergency training situations. What are the main differences between them? Uh, uh, in in both pictures, we can see uh, a simulated uh, um, uh, evacuation. Uh, we can the differences uh, are that uh, in the first picture we can see uh, that they use the stairs and in the second picture they use the um, um, I don't remember the name um, a way a faster way of evacuating the passengers. Um, in the first picture, we can see uh, many firefighters, but only pilots are, and the flight attendants. Uh, whereas in the second picture, we can see uh, four firefighters that are waiting for the passenger. What's the same about them? Uh, mm, both airplanes are painted uh, mostly of uh, white and... Um, uh, both airplane, I uh, mm, I. <laughs> <laughs> In your opinion, which situation looks more serious? Uh, I think that uh, is more serious the second situation because uh, they uh, don't use the stairs and they used a faster way uh, to evacuate the uh, airplane. Let's consider emergency situations in general. When is a situation an emergency situation? Uh, can you repeat the question? Please? Yeah, so when is a situation an emergency situation? Uh, when the, uh, something that is uh, a non-routine uh, uh, um, situation happen. So it, it are all non-routine situations emergencies? Um, mm, mm, uh, all the emergency are non-routine situation, but no, uh, but not every uh, non-routine situation are emergency. <laughs> so, so when does it become an emergency then? Uh, when the, um, uh, when you are uh, risking uh, to uh, when the safety of a flight. Uh, is in danger and you uh, cannot uh, um, provide for a safe flight. Which emergency situations should passengers be most worried about, do you think? Um, maybe in a, uh, during a, a depressurization of the cabin because uh, 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 the depressurization of the cabin is a um, uh, is an episode you can uh, uh, 
um, understand that something uh, um, eat the airplane and maybe uh, there is a hole on the, in the airplane and the structure of the airplane is uh, um, uh, no more uh, e efficient. Do you think that if you experience this, then you should be worried? Uh, yeah, I will... Uh, I don't know, because, for example, if I am a passenger, maybe I'll, I'm a bit uh, I worried more than if I would be a pilot. Why? Uh, because if I uh, if I am a pilot, I can manage the situation and I know what uh, I'm doing. And uh, if someone uh, that I uh, don't know uh, manage the situation, I'm not uh, sure of what they uh, are doing. Mm -hmm. People will hear or see a lot more about emergency situations on television these days. What would you say to people who are worried about flying? Uh, I think that uh, uh, flight, um, uh, catching an aircraft is the safest thing in the world. Also because uh, uh, we can see that uh, in last years uh, only one or uh, two or three accidents happen and instead uh, whereas in uh, for example uh, every Saturday night and every week uh, many and many accidents uh, happen in the roads and in the highway and the same also for the uh, rail and if you catch a bus why is it so safe um, because after every uh, accident in the history of the aviation uh, the inspectors uh, um, find out the, what were the reason of that accident and they um, introduced the new rules to, um, um, to avoid uh, a repetition of this accident. Let's think about um, depressurization again. What can cause depressurization? Uh, depressurization can be, depressurization can be caused uh, by an object that eats the airplanes and uh, maybe it uh, broke uh, a part of the fuselage um, and uh, mm, or maybe uh, one of the door is not uh, well closed so uh, you uh, will um, lose some pressure uh, inside the cabin uh, and something and other <laughs> causes. How is this different to other emergency situations? Um, during a depressurization you must uh, uh, descend rapidly because uh, um, the airplanes fly uh, at an altitude of uh, um, 30,000 or 40,000 feet and there you can't breathe, so uh, you have to uh, wear oxygen mask and the pilots has uh, only 5 or 10 minutes, I don't remember the exact time, to descend at an altitude where you can breathe. Is that dangerous if the pilot has to make such a rapid descent? Um, maybe um, if the pilots uh, uh, um, do a um, rapidly descent, you can uh, feel uh, not so good. But in that moment, uh, I think that uh, you you will mm, uh, uh, I'm sure that you uh, don't does don't mind. Uh, about that. <laughs> what should passengers do in the event of depressurization? Uh, the passenger uh, must uh, wear um, oxygen mask and in the case uh, um, there are parents with uh, um, small kids they uh, must uh, wear um, uh, the oxygen mask uh, 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 first uh, the parents and then you have to um, to let breathe also the child. Why, why do the parents have to do it first? Uh, because uh, um, uh, at uh, that altitude you can uh, feel the hypoxia that is a um, 
problem uh, you can uh, find when you can breathe normally. You can't breathe normally. Okay. 